This Panasonic SC board component repair kit includes all the necessary components to repair the common failures on this SC board. The symptoms repaired with this component repair kit include that the TV will not turn on and that the power light will blink four, five, seven, or 10 times. The SC board will also read a short at connector SC2. I will start by removing the components from the board. I will use my heat gun to warm up the component and then loosen it from the board. After it is loose, I will use my tweezers or needle nose pliers to remove the component from the board. For time's sake, we have sped up the video, but we use the same process on these similar components. For these smaller components, I will use the same process of heating up the component with my heat gun and then removing the component with my tweezers once it is loose. Next, I will use my solder iron and solder wick to remove the excess solder and clean up the pads on the board. I hold the wick on the pad and then apply pressure and heat with my solder iron onto the wick. The wick then sucks up the excess solder that is on the pad. As I use the wick, I will need to clip it to get a fresh piece every so often. I will now use a brush and some rubbing alcohol to clean up the pads on the board. I will start by applying solder paste onto the pads. After I have added some solder paste, I will then place each component in place. I will use my heat gun to warm up the component and secure it to the board. 
After you see the solder paste bubble for a bit, you can remove the heat and allow it to adhere to the board. Here we are showing a close-up of how to install these smaller components. In order to get the close-up, we could not use the tripod, so we apologize for the shaky image. For these larger components, we will use the same process of applying solder paste onto the pads and then heat up the component using the heat gun. Here again we will show a close up of soldering two components.
After I've soldered the components to the board, I will then again use my brush and rubbing alcohol to clean up around the components. We are now ready to reinstall the board back into the TV. When reinstalling your board, be sure to use the screws that are provided in the kit. These screws contain lock washers to help keep the board secured to the panel tightly. Thank you for watching one of our many tutorials here at ShopJimmy.com. If you have any further questions regarding your repair, simply post a question in the comment section below. We strive to learn and share new TV repair tips every day. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and grow with us. Share our videos with your friends to help us spread the savings. And don't forget to hit that like button.